In this video, we are going to integrate. We are going to integrate this. So uh, before we blindly jump in and use trigonometric substitution, we should have a quick glance to see if we can use u substitution. Um, you you might think that well, the derivative of this would be would be two x. Well, you might think that this x will, will cancel out with this, but as it turns out, u substitution won't work here. So so let's try it. Let 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 u be this thing here. So, so du equals this, so dx equals this. So when you put this into here, when you put it into here, this x here won't cancel out with this because this x is at the bottom. If, if, if this x is at the top, then it, then it will cancel out. But as it turns out, this x is at the bottom. So it, w it won't cancel out. So we, we can't really use u substitution. So we've got no choice but to use um, trigonometric substitution. So the usual routine, your eye should zoom into this. And then create create a triangle in such a way that this will be true. Well, if you make if you make the opposite to be x and the adjacent to be four, then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be square root x squared plus sixteen. So now you can see that uh, later on we can extract this thing here. So um, so now looking at the diagram, you uh, you can obtain this, and looking at the diagram, you can also obtain this. So how looking at the diagram, so tan theta tan theta will be opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, so x equals this, so dx will equal this, dx will equal this. Now look at the same diagram, uh, uh, secant x will be hypotenuse over adjacent, over adjacent, so secant will be this, so, um, so, uh, so times both sides by 4, that will then take us to here, now we can put this into uh, into this thing, into this block here, and then uh, and then and then put this thing into uh, into this thing here. So don't forget this thing gets multiplied to the top, and then you've got your your x here. Well, x x is given by this, so we can put this four uh, four tan into this x here. So that will then take us to here, and then it's just a matter of tidying this up. So hang on. So tidy this up. Um, the four will cancel out. You still got a quarter here. You still got a quarter here. So so a quarter is a constant. You can take it out. That will then give you this. And then uh, secant squared, and you've got your secant here. So that will remain as a secant. And then you've got your tan at the bottom. Tan at the bottom. So now you've got secant and tan in in a fraction. So to break this up, remember secant is one over cos theta, and tan is um, sine theta over cos theta so so whenever you have a mixture of the two just try and just try and tidy this bit up so imagine a circle of radius uh, one uh, sine would be this uh, cos would be this or tan tan would be sine over cos so you can you can replace this with this sine over cos secant or well, secant would be uh, would be one over cos would be one over cos would be one over cos so imagine this is secant uh, divided by, which is this bit here, tan is given by this. So now tidy this up, um, that will then give us this. So, so whenever, you, whenever you see uh, a mixture like uh, secant and tan in a fraction, tidy up and then that will then give you this thing here. Because 1 over sine is, uh, is this. So, uh, so this whole thing here will then become this. Uh, so uh, um, we've done this before. I'm asking you to uh, to accept this because we've done this in the past. When you integrate, when you integrate um, cosecant, it will give you this, and we've done this before. So I'm I'm asking you to accept this. So when you integrate this, it will then give you this thing here. It will then give you this thing here with a minus, with a minus. And then, uh, and then now, well, th this is our answer, but we don't want the answer in terms of theta, because you've got theta here and you've got theta here. So going back to the original diagram, going back to the original diagram, we can translate um, cosecant. Well, cosecant is this thing here. So that would be hypotenuse over opposite. That would be hypotenuse over hypotenuse. We can translate this. Well, cotangent would be would be this, so it would be 4 over x, it would be 4 over x. So this here is your final answer, okay?